Hello, this is an Unreal video. So, I spent way too long trying to figure out um, a solution to my problem. Right now, I'll give you a little bit of background. For environment art, everything should be built, you know, modularly. So, uh, built on, on the grid so that you can easily just, you know, create things, snap it to the grid, create another thing over here. Oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And we just move that there. Ah, no gap, no nothing. So, and we do it with these pipes and stuff over here. We just take this and we move it around and voila, everything snaps perfectly. Okay, so that is super important. What happens if I want to create a blueprint, say, of like something like this? So here's an example right here. I've got these dark pipes. Um, if I select these, like, I've obviously used this a lot of times, so there's no point in using all these different um, pieces again and again. Why not just have one blueprint that is just this piece, and then we can just use that piece, you know, four times. So, I'm going to move this all the way down here. And we're going to just move it out the way so we can see it fine. Perfect. All right. So, we want to make sure that we don't mess up our pivot point. So a pivot point is perfect right here. It lines up right at the end of the pipe. Um, and it's we know it's on grid. Or at least, you know, the one asset is on grid here. So we want to make sure it stays like that. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this over because we're going to need a couple examples. And I'm going to make a folder for this one. I'm going to call this test, uh, I guess, two because I've here recorded this a couple times. And select these, make a folder, test, there we go. So here they are. Let's say that we want to make this into just one, one blueprint. So I select them all and I go to blueprints and I convert the selection to a new blueprint. And I choose harvest components and we bam, here we go. Yes, okay, everything looks good. It's a new blueprint, awesome. I go down. <gasps> my pivot changed. OMG, what's going on? How do I get rid of this? It's not snapped to the grid anymore. If What happens if we, you know, want to get the end of this pipe all looking, you know, nice and flush with the wall panel here? Oh no, it's, it's not, it's not right. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not on the center. Hmm. So what do we do to fix it? So, the only thing I have learned, well, there are a few few methods to fix the pivot point. Um, the best one I've found is whenever you're going to create a, a blueprint, a new blueprint class from a selection, is to have your objects parented to one object that has the pivot you want. So, this pipe piece right here has that pivot. I want the pivot right here. So, if I make these two children if i just drag those into this piece right here now if i move this you know they're, they're children perfect now if i select these when i create this blueprint it's going to get the it's going to use the pivot of the parent so harvest components press select and there might be a workaround to do this without parenting it but this is you know what i found and there you have it so we look over here and we go oh nice but let's say it's too late for that um, let's say that you already have this situation going on, or let's use this example over here, just to shake things up, I guess. So, this is what I was doing right here. So I was making this piece, and I made it all as a as a uh, a new blueprint with all these different pieces, and I went yes, okay, time to make it into a blueprint, and then the pivot was off. Well, if we select all these again, and let's just say like, okay, well it's too late for me, I can't you know, recreate my blueprint. It's already created a blueprint. For some reason, I can't undo because I saved my scene. That happened to me once. Everything now is going to be a blueprint. So convert to blueprints and voila. And it's a messed up um, pivot point. It also changed the pivot inside here as well. So I'm pretty sure it moved it in the viewport. So let's say it's too late now. Well, What I've found is a good workaround is we create just 
a temporary object, so like an arrow, okay? So we have an arrow object and that's set to 0, 0, 0. Make sure it's not a child of any of these. If it is, just drag it up to the shared root or, uh, you know, I guess, so if it's like this, just drag it back up um, somewhere. I thought that's what you did. Oh my. I guess just drag it back onto the parent and it removes it. Uh, okay, so with this at 0, 0, 0, we can now copy this. Um, if we select this and go, okay, this this object here has the pivot that I want for the whole thing to be. We can right click the location of this and press copy. Then select our uh, arrow, right click the location, press paste. And now we make, we select all of these things, drag it to the arrow. And now the arrow is the parent. We can now reset this transform to zero, zero, zero. And you know, we can, Pull these back to the shared root thing and delete the arrow and voila our pivot points changed there you have it but wait what about vertex snapping ah yes vertex snapping if only so this is what was going on here so uh that sentence made no sense so vertex snapping is awesome so you can change the pivot point based on vertex selection so if i in uh this is version 2.25. I think any earlier version, uh, it was a slightly different. In any other version, you would... So in this version, and from now on, you hold down middle mouse button and press Alt-V. Before, you didn't have to press Alt. I think you could just press V before, but now you have to press Alt-V while you're holding down middle mouse. And look, it brings up all these blue points. These are your vertices of your mesh. But, oh no, why can't I snap on to any anything? It's because I have this grid snapping over here turned on. So I'll turn that off. Middle mouse again. Hold down Alt V. And there we go. So we can put the cursor or the um, pivot point right there. Nice. But uh, if I select off something and select on it again. Oh no, it, it removes our pivot point. So what we need to do, hold our middle mouse, Alt V, put it back. And we have to right click now and go press pivot, press set as pivot object, uh, offset, sorry. So now if I click off something and click back on, yes, it has this. But if I had this for any other, like let's say I, you know, this is just one instance. It only changed the offset for this one instance. So the blueprint itself, by the way, it has a completely different uh, offset uh, pivot point. So the blueprint itself, I had the offset, uh, Sorry, I get my words all mixed up. I had the pivot point set to over here before. It's because I recorded this video before and that's where I left it. Uh, the original blueprint pivot point right here is here. So every every other instance of this blueprint, it's going to have the pivot point right here. So we moved it down here and it did not change the um, blueprint. So you can't change the blueprint with uh, by doing it this method. But what about vertex snapping in here? Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? The end. Vertex snapping doesn't exist in the blueprint viewport. I don't know why. I feel like Unreal is full of a lot of small inconsistencies like this. It's very annoying. Um, if I try middle mouse here, it just moves it. So don't try that. So that's why I bring up the other method before of using the arrow and getting the location of you know an object like right here. I'll get the object of, or I would get the location of this object, right click, copy it, and paste it to that arrow. So then the arrow is in that position, make everything children of the arrow, and then reset the arrows, transform to be zero, 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 then remove that as the parent. And now you don't have the arrow in and everything is set to where you want it to be. I hope this video helped someone because it definitely would have helped me. As I spent a long time looking at all kinds of videos and forums and things and could not find anything on this that was just straightforward and pretty simple uh, a lot of weird uh, workaround methods but it's not making any sense so anyway yeah i hope this saves someone some time um smash that like button as you do on youtube or you can just press it pressing it's okay 
Uh, leave a comment if there's something um, that you didn't understand or whatever. Um, yeah, thanks for your time and consider subscribing. See you later.